Hello everybody, so today I'm going to be reviewing and doing a demo of the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. It's going to be a first impressions video because I haven't, I haven't even used this product before. So I'll be telling you what I like and what I dislike about it and giving you a little demo to achieve this look. So keep watching this video and I will see you in a second. So at the moment, as you can see, I've got no makeup on my face. Um, I've recently purchased the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Foundation and this was in the colour 2N1 Desert Beige. So it's a neutral shade and as you can see, at the moment it's summer and I've just been so busy recently. After all exams, my skin's starting to calm down so it's looking a lot better than it was but I'm just going to show you how to cover acne scars um, I've got them all across my cheeks and like a few on my forehead but my skin's looking a lot better so I hope you like this video and let's get into it first time I've opened it so it's in a really lovely glass bottle and I just think the packaging looks expensive it just looks sleek and it looks really nice in your dressing table as well so I got the colour 2N1 Desert Beige I'm neutral shade so I didn't want something too yellow or too pink but I think they have about 30 shades and the ladies at the counter they're so helpful they're really really nice so there's no pump which is really unfortunate because you never really know how much to pour out so I'm just going to put some on the back of my palm just a really little bit not much on so I'm going to be using my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush for this and this will give it a nice finish as we can buff it into the skin. So I'm just going to take it and put some on my cheeks, down my nose and so with my finger I'm just going to have a go um, rubbing it into my skin. So So it goes on incredibly smoothly, I think. So it's a really liquid foundation and it's meant to give beautiful coverage and as you can see I've only very briefly and very quickly buffed this into the skin. It's already covering all those imperfections and it's not creating, giving my skin like, you know when you have acne scars and then you get like moon marks, so that's what I call them anyway, but they're little um, like scars in the skin, like puck marks. And with the breast. So I did shake this before. I applied this so and just very gently buff this in so as you can see it's given really nice coverage I only want to do one layer today because I am going out with friends and it doesn't look too matte I think it's probably semi matte and on the jawline where I have all my scars it's covered it nicely on the box it claims to, this remarkable lasting yet lightweight makeup wears comfortably for up to 15 hours so we'll have to see about that even in high humidity won't smudge or come off on clothes so you know when you hug people like my foundation is always on the shirt but hopefully this won't happen it's oil free, fragrance free, non acnegenic dermatology and ophthalmologist tested so I'll be using my stay matte pressed powder because it's really affordable, really cheap and it does the job just well, so I'll see you in a second.
Okay, so I finished applying all the rest of my makeup. It's all done now, and I can honestly say this foundation gives the most amazing, amazing flawless complexion. It looks like I'm not wearing foundation, and for someone who has acne, that's a really, really good sign. The only thing I say about this is it dries really quickly, so you have to work it in well. I don't know whether that was because I was talking while I was applying it, but you do need to work fast with this product, and I do think that you'll have to take it off really well with a cream cleanser but yeah so i'm off out now see you later bye